If Fallout 4 is still stuck at 60 frames per second, or running with stutters and drops, you're playing it wrong. In this video, I'll show you how to install F4SE the right way in just a few minutes. No errors, no headaches. Then, we'll unlock true unlimited FPS with high FPS physics fix, dramatically cutting loading times and making the game feel smooth, even on older PCs. But we're not stopping there. I'll also show you how to boost image quality and performance using upscaling with DLSS 4 on NVIDIA GPUs or FSR on any other hardware. By the end of this video, Fallout 4 will run faster, smoother, and look better than ever. Let's get started. At first glance, this makes no sense at all. Fallout 4 is running in native 4K ultra settings on an RTX 5060 Ti, yet the performance is a mess. Frame rates constantly swing between 30 and 60 FPS, with stutters and inconsistent frame pacing. And no, this is not a GPU bottleneck. The real problem is the game engine, which was never designed for modern hardware, high refresh rates, or today's graphics pipelines. The good news? This is fully fixable. In the next steps, I'll show you exactly how to eliminate the stutters, unlock smooth, stable performance, and do it without sacrificing image quality. First, head over to Nexus Mods and download the Mod Manager. Make sure you grab the latest version, since it guarantees better compatibility and fewer issues during installation. After installing Vortex, go to the Games tab, locate Fallout 4, and click Manage to enable mod support. With that done, we can move on to Fallout 4 Script Extender. I already have my mods downloaded, but I've temporarily disabled everything so you can clearly see the installation process step by step. Head to the F4SE page and download it using the Mod Manager download option. If it doesn't install automatically, simply drag the compressed file into the Mods tab, using the Drop Files area to complete the installation manually. Once installed, F4SE will appear under the Tools section, where it can be launched directly. To confirm that F4SE is properly installed, launch the game and open the console using the apostrophe key, Type get F4SE version and press enter. If the version information appears on screen, F4SE is working correctly. Now let's install the upscaling mod. This mod enables support for DLSS 4 and FSR 3.1, allowing us to significantly increase performance while improving image quality. Before proceeding, make sure all required dependencies are installed correctly. Now that all required dependencies are installed, we can proceed with the mod installation. This step enables DLSS 4 and FSR support in Fallout 4. Finally, we'll install the high FPS physics fix. Since all required dependencies are already in place, we can proceed directly to the download and installation. Now that all the required mods are installed, there's one critical final step if you want to run Fallout 4 above 60 FPS. You'll need to manually edit the High FPS Physics Fix configuration file. If you're playing the Steam version, this file is located in the directory shown on screen. Open the file, locate the Enable VSync option, set it to false, and then save the changes. This disables the engine level frame cap and allows the game to properly run at high and unlimited frame rates without breaking physics or causing instability. Once everything is properly set up, we can finally jump back into the game and check the results. Inside Fallout 4, go to the Mod Settings menu, where we can choose the upscaling method and the quality preset that best fits our hardware and performance goals. In my case, I selected DLSS 4 and set it to Performance Mode, and the difference is immediately noticeable. Before applying these changes, the game was struggling with unstable frame rates, frequent drops, and inconsistent frame pacing, even on powerful modern hardware. Now with DLSS properly configured and all the required fixes in place, Fallout 4 is running well above 90 FPS, even in heavier areas. But the improvement isn't just about higher frame rates. What really stands out here is the stability. Frame times are significantly more consistent stuttering is practically gone, and camera movement feels much smoother overall. This combination of higher FPS and stable frame pacing completely changes how the game feels to play. 
input response is faster, aiming feels more precise, and exploration is noticeably smoother. What's even more impressive is that this performance gain comes without sacrificing image quality. DLSS 4 does an excellent job preserving fine details, keeping edges clean, and maintaining a sharp image, even in performance mode. In motion, the game actually looks better than native, especially when compared to the unstable experience we had before. Overall, this setup transforms Fallout 4 into what it should have been on PC from the start, a game that runs smoothly, consistently, and takes full advantage of modern hardware. If you've been struggling with low FPS, stutters, or engine limitations, this configuration delivers a massive improvement in both performance and playability. If this video helped you fix performance issues or unlock higher FPS, leave a like. It really helps the channel. For more PC optimization guides, mods, and performance benchmarks, subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos. Drop a comment if you have questions or want to see more tests. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.